In today's episode, the Church of Scientology will unjustly accuse me of breaking the law by merely standing in this skyway. They will summon the police in a blatant attempt to intimidate me. Moreover, they will unlawfully chain and padlock the doors, blatantly disregarding the fact that this is a public byway to which they have no rights or privileges. This reckless action poses a significant fire and safety hazard, prompting me to call the police. Scientology will resort to deceit, lying to the authorities. I have already filed a formal complaint with the city of St. Paul and reached out to several newspapers to ensure this egregious abuse of power is brought to light. This woman is merely trying to cross the skyway to the history theater. There's laws in yeah. the skyway system. Yep. You can't stop and linger. You have to keep moving. So please keep moving. I'm moving. How are you doing? Can you tell me what you what's positive about your cult? There's nothing positive about your cult? Excellent. I'll be waiting here for the police. I don't know why. So I think that they're one of the reasons. Do you know much about these people? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're... Yes, I agree. I'm going to go over test out the doors of the history theater to show that I am uh, moving along here. Plus we'll get an outside view, um, a lot of sun coming in that window, I don't know if we'll be able to see too much there. Uh, so we're back now into the building that really houses Scientology. Uh, so we've got the Scientology Information Center here. I'm going to go back downstairs and... Scientology Twin Cities uh, open... Oh, now, they have 10 to 10, so they get a nice late start here. They get to sleep in here in the, in the Twin Cities. See if we have an opportunity to uh, get some photo recognition. Anything to share about your church? Anything positive to share about your church? Sorry? So, uh, just a guess here. He's going to walk out and he's going to walk back in the corner. So, more fellas. I wonder where they're coming from down here. So those two gentlemen came from down here, which it looks like the uh, office building management is supposed to be at. So oh, the condo office, oh, you know what? So, so uh, now I get to call the police department. You know, it's illegal, it's a fire escape. So if we can get the uh, the image of the person here. Uh, it is at the Church of Scientology in St. Paul. Um, I think there's a fire emergency here. The uh, There's a person locking the pub. I can't get across the public walkway. So, uh, and I believe that's a public walkway. I don't understand why they're locking me out. Um, 505 Wabansia or Wab 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 Wabasha. My name is Paul Erickson. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I will say that I am a journalist and I am being locked out of the Skyway and I believe that the Skyway is public property. Correct. Uh, so there will be officers coming. I'll, I'll, I'll talk with them. Thank you. Uh, 
Hello, sir. Uh, I know they called on you, but I also called. So they, they've locked. They've locked the um, public walkway upstairs, which is, I believe, supposed to be public access. And it's also a fire hazard at this point. So they've got chain locks on the door here and chain locks on the door there. If any, if there was a fire in here, there's no egress from the, from that area. I also believe that's a public sidewalk. And I don't understand why as a uh, citizen and a first minute auditor, I wouldn't have access to that area. Okay. Uh, well, we'll go on and talk to you and see what's going on. I appreciate that? that. Yep, love it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You were, you were the other person that I'm on. sure I, I'm the one that called and I, I know that I'm pretty sure they called on me and okay. by the way they said you have to keep on lingering and I did or you can't stand still yeah. I did keep on moving back and forth I went through this right there my name is Paul Erickson Paul Erickson okay yep. Paul we'll go yeah. thank you that, that's we'll what go you can figure it out yeah. all you want I, that, that's fine with us but we'll go figure out what's going on with there I appreciate it thank you a few hours later Gordon how you doing all right. Hi. Can I do a couple of formalities? Can I get a name and a badge number? Yep. It's Jay Griffin. Jay Griffin. Triple and six. Triple six. <laughs> That's got to be. <laughs> did somebody love you or did somebody uh, hate well, you? Well, <laughs> I don't know yet. Larson, 543. 543. Thank you. All right. Uh, I know they're not happy that I come here and I expose the thing. And again, I don't know if you care, care about anything that they do, but as a First Amendment auditor, I, I have every right to expose anything I want to. I am very worried that they've locked those pedestrian pathways because that's, well, A, they're restricting my First Amendment rights at, the, at this point in time. And secondly, if there is a fire that goes on in there or any kind of emergency, there's people that are gonna be trapped in that building. We're, we're verifying that, so we're gonna verify that. Uh, they're saying they have the right to lock that as long as it's monitored for fire reasons. So we're gonna double check that. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, disagree. Yeah. I'm gonna call the fire marshal because I, I can't believe that yeah, that's a yeah, true statement, ahead. right? But that doesn't they, seem. They have somebody up there monitoring yeah. it. So I, 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 you want me to get that monitor out of there? If I go up there with my camera, they'll immediately leave the space and they won't be monitoring. And then I'll have the video that shows they're not monitoring well, the space. I, I, I'm just saying what yeah, she. I, I, so I know. I'm going what you're saying, and I'm going off what she's saying. So yep. we're kind of going back and forth. I, I, agree. I agree. So we're just kind of going off what we yep. have right now. You know what I'm saying? Excellent. Yeah. Definitely appreciate your service. Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'll go up there and I'll, I'll get the video and then I'll let the fire marshal know. Is there a not? I hate calling emergency. Is there a non-emergency number? Yeah, it's uh, 651. 651. 291. 291. 11. 11. 11. 11. Thank you. All right. That's Thank easy. you. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just tell the chat and then they can recite it back to me when I need to call. Yep. So, thanks, guys. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. No problem. Thank you. All right. All right. Good luck. Um, I, you also noticed that, right, that door is locked. The only way you can actually go in there is through the garage. Like, Which door? So the door that you tried to test over there, that's 17? Yeah, that's a, that's a different address. Yeah. That's a different owner. Correct. I agree. I know. So that's not part of the Skyway system. I know that. Well, yeah, 100%. That's not part of the Skyway, yeah. and that's a different, yeah. different owner. And I know that they can't, you know, they. if I step up there, they'll call you and trespass me. Yeah. Which, do you happen to know where the edge of the boundary is here? Because I think it's that orange post, because like you said, that 17 West is its own entrance I and guess building. I don't know offhand. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to go right up to the border and, yeah. and push and it's not that i just want to i just want to right i just don't want to because i the, i know that the their history is they're going to call you every time i go near that and i want to stay as far away from it as possible to not yeah, cause I, the that's yeah. what i was going to say i would not <laughs> right because there's no I, I don't know i couldn't tell you offhand you know if you'd have to have a severe right you know, so no. all right maybe so so here's the lock we did see the the guy walk in right away so again, this is unmonitored. If we look down the hallway, there is no human being here watching this, right? So do we call the police again and say, while they said they would be monitoring this, they are not in fact monitoring this. So right now we've seen the guy walk away. Uh, the, the, the man that was supposed to be monitoring this door uh, is not monitoring this door. Excuse me, sir, and I've got the, I've got the camera heading away from you. Um, they've locked the, pe the pedestrian way. I can't get across the pedestrian way. Where? Right there. It's, they've deadbolted it on the, they've taken a chain and they've locked it on the inside. So I can't walk to the history theater. Where did they lock it, sir? I don't know. They don't want. This is the pedestrian. You go through the escalator. This is the escalator. Yep. And if I, I can't go across the bridge. They've locked it. 
they have a chain. If you come, if you, can you come with me for a moment? No, I, I, we don't have anything okay. up there. Ah. We don't do the, the, I, what, what's down there, like this. Gotcha. Up there, too. If you have any chain up there, call 911. They are not supposed to lock this time in. Okay, I appreciate that. Yep. All right, I'm going back to 911. So <laughs> I've gotten permission from the security guard. The police are coming back out to get that chain off there. Oh, but sorry, will somebody be coming or? Okay. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Section 140.10 Hours of Operation General Hours All parts of the St. Paul Pedestrian Skyway system must be open to the public every day between the hours of 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. These general hours of operation are minimum hours and nothing in this ordinance prohibits any portion of the Skyway system from being open a greater number of hours for any reason. However, outside the general hours all Skyway doors must be secured unless all unsecured doors are physically monitored. Nothing in this section is intended to supersede other legally binding agreements regarding greater hours of access to specific buildings and or entrances or other building elements. These general hours of operation apply to all entrances into the St. Paul pedestrian Skyway system including doors, stairways, elevators, and escalators leading from an area that is open to the public to the St. Paul pedestrian Skyway system. Notwithstanding the foregoing, street access to any building connected to the St. Paul pedestrian Skyway system may be secured during the hours that there is no tenant or business within the building that is open to the public. If a building has a tenant or business that is open to the public, that building must have at least one, one, designated street access point open to the public during the hours of operation of the tenant or business. I have made a complaint to the St. Paul Police Department by phone and using their website. You can write the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office at Ramsey County Sheriff's Office, Internal Affairs Unit, 425 Grove Street, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55101 or email them at asksheriff at co.ramseydunn.us. I have also filed a complaint with the St. Paul Fire Marshal. You can voice your concerns by using Facebook, maybe linked to this video. You may also use the link below in the description. Follow us on YouTube at Windy City Thetan Watch. We do live protests, studio panels, and curated videos.